Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Chip Roy just laced into Joe Biden, some fellow Republicans, and everybody involved in this disaster at the border in an epic rant that you have to hear to believe. Before we get started, folks, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So Chip Roy was on Fox News when he just went to work on Joe Biden, his dereliction of duty, and the Republicans that have let this continue. He talked about Texas Governor Greg Abbott being sued, being sued by the administration for having the audacity to try to stop the flow of migrants, the flow of drugs, the flow of fentanyl, the stopping of sex trafficking at the border, all the stuff that, that Greg Abbott is trying to stop, they're suing him over. The Department of Homeland Security is suing him over. It's ridiculous, but here we are, 2023, Joe Biden's America. Let's hear Chip Roy tell it. But these cartels are emboldened and they are empowered by a president who does not care about our southern border. He is allowing it to become completely run by the cartels. And if anybody has not seen the sound of freedom, go see it. Go see what's happening in the world. Go see who has the power. Go see who is, you know, abusing these young girls, these young children. We're allowing that to happen on our watch. No more. That's my message. Governor Abbott is being sued, sued by the Department of Homeland Security and by this administration because he dares to try to stop the flow at our border, to stop the death, the fentanyl, to stop the poisonings, to stop arm intruders. You know, the president and this administration could go straight to hell. We have a job to do. In Congress, my message to all my Republican colleagues we are not going to fund a government that's at war with the people of Texas. We are not, not going to fund a government that's perpetuating the lawlessness, empowering cartels, allowing fentanyl to kill Americans, and allow little girls to get raped in stash houses in Texas. Enough? This is our fight. And I'm tired of Republicans who are giving lip service to it and for years have been supporting it because they want cheap labor. We need to recontrol our border. Even Robert F. Kennedy Jr. gets it, Stuart. Yeah. We have an obligation to have a secure border. And of course, Congressman Roy is exactly right. Exactly right. He could go straight to hell because he's taking this country to hell. Joe Biden has taken this country to hell. He's apparently, I don't know what he thinks he's doing, but it, it's like he's almost attempting to turn us into a third world country. It, it, there's no rhyme or reason for what this man is doing unless you want to destroy something. If... Joe Biden wants to destroy the United States, then, well, all his decisions start to make sense. See, if you're trying to destroy something, then he's doing it perfectly. All his decisions make sense in that vein if he's trying to destroy the country. However, if he's trying to be the unifying president of the United States who wants to protect and serve and defend and blah, 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 then he's doing it all wrong. But is Biden anything more than a puppet, really, for the globalists? And the globalists don't like borders at all. And that's what's really happening here. That's what's actually happening here. Your friends, your neighbors who are liberals, they don't get it. They don't see it and they're not going to see it until it's too late. Not because they're stupid. They're not stupid people. They're compassionate people. And that compassion is being played on to manipulate them, to tug at their heartstrings. They'll show them the one case of a child at the border. They won't show them the other hundred cases of drug smugglers and child traffickers and criminals that are coming across the border. They're not going to show those. They're going to show the one heartwarming story. And that's how they tug on these people's heartstrings. So the liberals who support this, again, they're not bad people. They're just manipulated people. And the problem is, is that it's much easier to lie to people than it is to convince somebody they've been lied to because nobody wants to admit they've been tricked. That's a very hard thing to admit. Because you don't want to believe people can, like, I can't be tricked, like, so easily. People don't want to admit that. That's part of the problem. So we have to break through to those people. Chip Roy, he nailed it. I want to know what you guys think about all of this. So please let me know in the comments. Also, please like, share, and subscribe because it really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.